Let us review a new app that was recently updated in the App Exchange. FishMe, for as it implies here, threat intelligence on IPs, domain hashes that has to do with uh, phishing campaigns. And this is very important because most, if not all the ransomware attacks uh, start with a phishing and many other attacks start that way. So how can I get uh, uh, take advantage of uh, threat intelligence that can feed me uh, constantly with new threats on phishing. So I downloaded the app and installed it by clicking here on extension management as we have done before, use a zip files, trivial installation and that gave me this icon over here in which I went and put my credentials for the uh, subscription to the service. I also installed for the purpose of this demo the reference data management free app which allows me to see reference maps instead of having to go through the RESTful API. So launching the reference data management application and searching for FishMe, I found these reference sets that as you see got already populated and I just installed the app and some interesting reference maps that contains, uh, for example, this one contains intelligence about uh, IPs that has been delivering uh, malware. So in here we can see that uh, it provides the source of the information and that we, if you want to investigate any any uh, any one of these. But let's say that we are going to be creating a rule down that we want to detect everything that comes when the impact rating is uh, major. So in this particular case we're going to look for you know anything that will be like this that will come on the threat intelligence. As we see that this is actually a Loki command and control type of, uh, of attack. So let's take a look at the rule that we created in here. Uh, I can give you an idea of how to use it. So that's the name of the rule. And then notice that we are only uh, making this applicable to events that go out through our blue code proxy. It can be Palo, it can be WebSense, whatever you use for XGS, whatever you use for uh, controlling uh, outgoing traffic. And when the FishMe intelligence uh, IP data, that's a reference map, one of the reference maps that got all automatically installed and populated with data and they, and they keep it up, up, up to date uh, at least once a day. And when uh, either the source or destination, I don't care if any one of those are in what is called as impact rating, having the, the value major, let's fire an offense. So we're going to replay those uh, those uh, logs and we will see that an offense uh, will soon be fired based on that rule. And here we have it. Uh, the name of our offense somewhat got fish and then also contained TCP miss. That means that the blue code Croftsy did not find this address on the cache so it was the first time going there. So that's also telling. We got the user here, uh, Fran Sanchez and we can actually dive in into the uh, the offense and see the two events that uh, contributed to this uh, particular offense. And is that TCP miss uh, on the blue code proxy that we can actually uh, take a look at, at the actual payload and I'm sure that in there, there is one of those uh, IP addresses. Uh, yeah, and that's that's one of the addresses that we saw in there. That's a Russian uh, address. Uh, and the other one is the event that we dispatch once uh, the, the rule uh, trigger. And here we have it. And that's the internal IP. We get the user ID. Now we know that this machine has been uh, compromised. In subsequent videos, we're actually going to show the actions that we can actually automatically take by, for example, getting Frank Sanchez's machine completely out of the network using BigFix, telling our IPS, whether it's XGS, Blue Code, uh, uh, Palo Alto, Cisco, hey, block anything that comes from this IP because now we are seeing that is that is uh, actually being malicious and going all the way to uh, tell uh, Guardium, hey, uh, file activity monitoring, go ahead and protect 
any of the uh, file shares that uh, Fran Sanchez had access to just in case that the malware may have a spread uh, over there.